right, man. It's six thirty-one. All right. So, uh, so uh, I don't know. Maybe you want to tell people a little bit about yourself. Maybe people don't know don't know about you. Okay. Well, this is um. Well, I go by the name of Sky down here on YouTube, man, and I'm uh, the creator and created content of Flat Out Entertainment. Uh, what I am is I'm a more of a okay. comedy reaction. Um, storytelling vlogger, you know, it's like multiple things all on one channel. So uh, that's what I'm about, man. I'm about um, trying to change what, how the way YouTube is being done and um, revolutionizing what we're gonna do and how we're gonna do it. Yes, yeah, yeah. I've uh, I've seen uh, I've seen quite a few of your videos. I know you um, did uh, like an angry grandpa um, reaction video from when he had cancer. That's the first video I've seen of yours, and that was probably. One of like the hardest videos to watch. Um, I mean, you kind of break it down, you know, about somebody who may or may not even have some kind of issue. You know what I'm saying? Oh, absolutely, man. I mean, it could have all just been step uh, stipulation at first, but uh, when you find out that it's true, and you know, when you, you know, kind of grow attached to people that you really never even met in life, and you still grow some type of um, connection with them, and you know, in order for it to make you break down like that, man, it was. It was, it was a touchy subject for me at that time, and I had no idea that that um, particular video was going to get over 100,000 views on it. Oh, yeah. I mean, I've been watching Angry Grandpa since, I don't know, probably about two two years ago, and there's been a few questionable things that I've been kind of wondering um, like if, what? He, if he's, like, legit. I mean, kind of like the whole Tina situation about how they – how she kind of, I don't know, we want to say that, kind of went insane and kind of turned her back on them. I don't know if that was kind of, they're trying to play that off to get more views. Um, you know, people obviously have uh, different motives. Um, absolutely. Uh, the way I feel about it, now I was kind of in the wrong, first of all, so I want to admit to my wrongdoing. When I first did the video in regards to Tina, and the information that she was putting out there. Now, granted, she didn't show any hardcore proof or evidence. It was more or less he no. said, she say. But um, what she was saying, yeah. you know, I'm a person who try to base things off of logic. And from a logical standpoint, what she was saying made sense to me. So I was thinking there was a lot of truth behind her words. Well, even though I still feel like it might have been some truth to some of her words, but not all of them. So, you know, I had to pretty much retract my my initial thoughts and opinions until I had got both sides of the story. Now, when Pickle Boy came out with his side of the story and I digested, you know what I'm saying, his side, then I come to find out that not only did he have the proof and the evidence, but he wasn't lying. So, um, I don't I don't think he's that type of person to be just threatening no little kids or you no know, nothing like that. No, and, you know, she obviously could definitely be saying, like, blowing shit out of her ass, you know, more than, more than anybody else. Um, but what really got me questioning everything was when they, when Kid Behind a Camera actually had McJugger Nuggets at his house and did that series, which, you know, was played off as real. But later on, uh, you know, by watching McDragon Nuggets and following him, he said that it was just like a collaboration series. It wasn't. It wasn't real at all. Well, you know, you know what? They play it off like it was fake, and you know, it makes me wonder. You know, keep behind the camera said it's real, and this other guy said it's fake. You don't know what to believe. Well, you know exactly what to believe, and I'll tell you exactly how you know what to believe. Because if you pay close attention to the particular videos. One, you can see that both of them has been a little bit too overdramatic. For right. one. So that was a red flag for me right there. Now, the biggest red flag for me to let me know that it was more of a, a cahoots situation is when um, Pickle Boy and um, McJugger Nugget was in Pickle Boy's room. And I guess it's the room that he used now for his wrestling uh, figures. And they got into a yeah. little scuffle. Now, when you sit here looking at that little scuffle that they had, you could immediately tell that it wasn't real. Immediately. Because didn't nobody throw no punch or nothing. It was more like a right. little wrestling and just, you know, this was almost, it kind of remind me of two females, you know what I'm saying, in a big ass pool of um, mud. And they finna have a mud wrestling oh, yeah. contest. 
So they just, uh, uh, and just moving around in the mud, getting all right. muddy, but right. ain't nobody really getting physical. That's what that reminded me of. So that was the biggest yeah, red flag was, for me. Yeah, it was definitely um, ridiculous watching that. And, you know, it, it was kind of at that point where, you know, before that I could pretty much believed everything. I mean, some things obviously are played off, you know, what, as fake more so than others. Um, but you don't, you don't get famous on YouTube for real, real stuff. You, you don't. Like you gotta gain some kind of um, publicity. You know, whether it's smashing a PS4 or buying your dad a house. You know, I mean. Yeah. Um... You, you go over the top, so you get more views, so more people share the video. So I understand what he's trying to do, but you don't need to lie to people and say it's real. Um. See, and that's one thing that I try to. Um, keep honest with my and when it comes to my channel, um, you know, like I said, I don't put clickbait titles in my videos, or you know, I don't um, entitle them to mislead anybody. You know, what I'm saying I feel like there's right. no need for it, but at the same time, too, yeah, this is YouTube, and I understand why people doing what they're doing because again, it's all about the views, it's all about getting traffic to your site, and if you're not getting traffic to your site, that means you're not growing. I'm saying I'm in I'm not saying I'm innocent, you know, and like doing clickbait titles because I've done it. I've done it a lot. You know, most of my views are from clickbait titles. I'm not, you know, I'm not saying, you know, that's, that's a bad thing, but to purposely mislead people, you know, basically make that your life to mislead people, that's not really the way to go. I agree. It's not really the way to go, but it almost seems like it is the way to go. Um, look yeah. at this. I can't even think of this young dude name, man. It's this young um, Caucasian boy, man. Just out of nowhere, man. This dude was doing uh, clickbait um, thumbnails and titles and went from a small channel to, what, a million subscribers and damn near overnight? I right. can't even think of just that boy, man. Just because of the clickbait title. Yeah, just because of clickbaits. Yeah, and, you know, I've had clickbait videos. I got 30, 40, 50,000 you know, views within 24 hours, and then, you know, like, that, that, that like it, it does happen, like, it, I'm not, like, a huge channel, um, so I'm kind of trying to, like, get my name out there a little bit, but I don't really know if I want that negative, you know, that negative, um, that negative name. Image. Well, negative or not, though, I mean, it was a lot of negativity coming from you know, a lot of people's perspective when it comes to certain channels that does clickbait, but yet they still stick around to watch their content. So eventually right. that negativity going to dissipate. And you know what I'm saying? It's going to be back to business as usual. But I mean, some right. people say you got to fake it till you make it. I mean, I never really followed behind that concept, but some people do. And some people actually become successful doing it. You know what I mean? So I don't knock nobody who do it because I've actually thought yeah. about doing it. But I mean, you, if that's how you got to get it to get ahead... Get it to get ahead, man, because this, who said YouTube's going to last forever? Get it while the getting's good. Yeah, it, it, I can honestly tell you right now, YouTube's probably not going to be around a whole lot longer. I don't know if you know anything about how the ads are coming down off videos. Uh, Yeah, I do, man. I, I talk about it all the time. Yeah. Um, and I haven't really been following your channel a whole lot. Um, definitely just been busy with work. Um, but... Um, I've seen a lot of people talking about that, and, and and what what I think it is is people, you know, doing these clickbait titles or making these videos, whether it's child abuse with Daddy O Five, or you're having people, you know, take their shirt off, you know, during like a live video game stream, you know, like yeah. all these things, you know, add up, and that's making people not want to spend money to put their ads on here. Absolutely. So you got to find the balance. But but where would you draw the line to find that balance, though? Because right now, it seems like finding that balance is almost impossible. Yeah, I mean, anytime you talk about religion, you know, race, and you talk about uh, anything, really, I mean, gender, it, it's a big deal, and nobody wants to see that. Well, I mean, if you break it down like that, then you might as well just cut out free speech all in all, all together, because, I mean, them, them mainly some of the, the, the top tier subjects, you know, when it comes to free speech. So, I mean, you take away that, then you might as well take away free speech as a whole. 
Yeah, and I think that's what a lot of people have problems with is that the YouTube terms of service saying, you know, you can't say this, can't say that, can't say that. Well, I thought this was supposed to be like, you can say whatever you want. That was, that's the beauty of YouTube. But now you can't, and people have problems with that. Yeah. And they just decided to do it anyway. And by doing that, they fucked everyone over, you know? But you know what? You have to kind of look at it from both sides, too. I mean, and I'm going to use yeah. this for an example. Right now, I'm on your channel. I'm on your show. You know what I'm saying? What right. your rules are applies to your show, your channel. So I have to abide by your rules of your channel. Now, if you was on my channel, it'd be, I'm the king of that castle. You know, so right now, I'm in your home. Exactly. So, I mean, it's just like with YouTube. We dealing with YouTube. We're in their house. If we want to continue to do YouTube, regardless if we like it or not, we got to abide by the fuckboy rules. And that's what I call them. They fuckboy right. rules. And well, I mean, even with, let's say, I mean, an example, like extreme case, really, I mean, the daddy of five and how everybody went after that guy. Do you know anything about that? See, I never was an avid watcher of daddy of five. In fact, I never really even heard of him until recently. And I okay. tried to look at some of his videos, but I think he privatized all of them. So I wasn't yeah. able to watch any of his videos. But what I did, I went to other sources and seeing, you know, why people was complaining about his channel as far as. You know, his son slapping his daughter or the little kid with the glasses. I guess that's like one of his youngest child. How he's getting tossed around yeah. and people, you know, pretty much antagonizing him all the time. Yeah, and, and what the part that I don't understand is he says specifically in each video that it's fake, that it's, you know, it's a story. They have a story they're going off of and it has nothing to do with reality. And people make a big deal about it, and there's just another scenario where people blew something up that wasn't needing to be blown up. Now listen, I'm trying my best not to swear on your on your channel, and I told hey man, my, feel, free, feel free, man. Well, I told my um, my father was that I wasn't swearing like that no more anyway. But I have to use this swear word to okay. to push my point on this. The skits that I do on my channel are fake. A little boy slapping the shit out of a little girl, you could. You can't never call that fake. That was physical contact, hand over face, like Rick James that did to Charlie Murphy. You know what I'm saying? On the, on the Chappelle right. show, when he slapped the hell out of him. That, you can't fake that. I don't care how you try to cut it. You cannot fake, you cannot fake picking up a little, what, four or five year old and slamming him on the ground or balling up your fist as a father and hitting your son's hand. You know what I'm saying? A little baby. You can't fake this, man. I don't care how many times you say, yeah, this was fake. Maybe we took it too far. We're so sorry. We don't suck as parents. We're actually good people. Fuck that. What ha happened was bogus, and it was for the whole world to see. Right, and, you know, it, it, there shouldn't be a green light just because you're saying that the video is fake. That's not a green light to abuse your kid. I'm not trying to defend, you know, Daddy of Five. I'm just... My, my my opinion of like what's going on. Um, and we're never gonna get the whole story either. And I think that's part of the problem too, is, you know, he does an interview with Keemstar and, you know, he talks about this on Twitter. He takes down all his videos. Obviously you take down your videos, you're guilty. I mean, right away. Well, have you ever heard the expression that a, a picture tells a thousand words? Yeah, I have. Yeah, I mean, he can take down the videos all he wants to, man. We already seen it. So, I mean, regardless of the fact, he can't hide what he done. Gone at this point because he had to take down all of his videos. Exactly. So, you know, uh, he definitely uh, made a mistake there by doing that to his kids and all of that. Um, if you want to tell a story, fantastic. But you don't really need to involve your kids in that way. If you want to do a skit with your kid, you know, don't beat them up. Don't yell at them. You know, I mean, that, that's just not really how that's supposed to go. Exactly. Now, I, I, I can see, you know, with him, you know, with that having been a big family, because that's a pretty big family. I, yeah. I can see, you know what I'm saying, the, the attraction of wanting to prank your kids you know, the prank your wife, stuff like that. I can see the attraction to that. Because if I had a family like that, I would probably be doing the same thing. But there's still a fine line between that as well. Because we're still dealing with children. 
You know what I'm saying? These are, oh, yeah. they I don't mean, understand see, fully what I mean, they're you, doing. Yeah, I mean, you see, okay, let's say, like, take Angie Grandpa and Tickle Boy for an example. You know, they have they have nephews or grandkids, whatever. They they don't they prank them, but they don't go to the extreme of what we see anyway. What they put on video, they don't go to the extreme, you know, and I know like yelling at them and like beating them up or whatever. They do like harmless little pranks, and I think that's that's fantastic. Like that should be out there. But, Absolutely. I mean that that's that's good fun. Everybody likes to see that. So, yeah, you, know, you just can't. I mean, once you put your hand on someone, it really kind of raise your voice, you know, up to the point of what he was doing. And then that's that's kind of where you draw the line. But again, different people have different lines. I mean, the the moment that you have a child screaming, crying, and blatantly telling yeah. you that he hates you, there's a serious issue going on. And that needed to be addressed right away. Yeah, definitely. I, I don't I don't think that it should I don't think it should be allowed. You know, it's not really allowed in the legal system. If it's not allowed in the legal system, it shouldn't be allowed on YouTube. And that, that's kind of that's kind of where it's at. And I feel the exact same way. But you would be amazed the type of stuff that's getting overlooked on YouTube that, you know what I'm saying, shouldn't even exist on YouTube. Uh, oh yeah, I mean, I, I've seen a lot of things that I wish I wouldn't have. Um, but again, you know, that's kind of the nature of the business. I mean, I, I'm definitely gonna maybe bury myself on this, but I've, with my brother, we downloaded, let's say I downloaded like a porn video and um, put it on YouTube just to see what happened. And it was up there for three weeks before it got removed and got thousands and thousands of views. And like nobody, you know, that's not supposed to be on there, but they kept it on there until somebody got bitchy and reported it. Are you so, serious? Yeah, I'm, I'm being 100% serious. What video was this? I, I just downloaded like some random porn video off like Pornhub and put it on there. Oh, okay. Um, it, it was, I made like a different channel to get that, just to see what happened. And there were thousands and thousands of views and then somebody reported it and then got taken down. So I think, you know, it, it, your audience maybe has like something to do with it too. Um, you see a lot of butthurt people on YouTube, you know, writing in the comments and flagging everybody's videos just cause. Oh yeah. Um, I mean, there's been a few videos I've seen that were up for a long time and then people just came by and flagged them and they're not up there anymore. And you know, it, it, it shouldn't be like that. There should be some kind of system to keep that kind of thing from happening. Um, and in reason, you know, obviously a porn video on YouTube, that's not, that shouldn't be up there. Um, but um, like some videos you put up right away, let's say you upload a movie to YouTube, you can't do that. They take it down right away. Oh, and they so, do that in a heartbeat. You already know. I guess it's pointless. I don't, like, you're wasting your time. Okay. Um, now I got to ask you something. I don't know if you're familiar with these people. Are you familiar with DMB Nation? I don't know really anything about it, though. Okay. Well, my issue with DMB Nation, um, they a uh, couple here actually in Indiana, where I'm from, but they're in a different part of Indiana. And, um, Okay. They they did a, a huge publicity stunt as far as, you know, make it seem like their channel got hacked. Um, supposedly, it was this baby mama drama that was supposed to have took over his channel and he was trying to put his business out there and stuff like that. But it was just a huge employee to promote, you know, how much they make a month. Now, granted, they make it seem like they make over $100,000 every month, which I know good guy well, they don't make over 100000 every single month. That's not possible with 2 million subscribers. I mean, Roman Atwood yeah. has 15 million subscribers, and he's not pulling that every single month. You know what I'm saying? So you telling me that y'all have 2 million, and y'all pulling in more money than Roman Atwood with 15 million? Not possible. But anyway, I digress from that. My whole point is saying that was because they decided to come up with this DMB Nation University to teach people how to do YouTube to gain the million subscribers. But at a price of over a three hundred and what eighty six, three hundred ninety six dollars. 
Now you're right. trying to charge your subscribers, the two million people that you have already, that's made your channel successful. You want to charge them an additional almost four hundred bucks to teach them how to do YouTube. If that's not greed, I don't know what is. I can't fall behind I mean, that. I mean, I mean, honestly, I mean, if you're if you're willing to pay four hundred bucks. I mean, I'm not going to stop somebody from paying me $400 so I can show them a trick. I mean, they, they say a sucker is born every day, so you got to learn how to stay sucker free in the land of lollipops. Yeah, right. You know, and uh, there's a lot of people that want and kind of want that fame. And I think YouTube at this point, it's not really worth, you know, trying to get a ton of fame because, you know, it's kind of a dying breed. Um, but um, if, if, you, if you're willing to pay the 400 bucks, you know, more, more power to you, you know, if you're gonna, you're gonna get people to pay you, you know, absolutely, you know. I mean, it's a business, they have to make money somehow. Yeah, I mean, definitely gotta make money somehow, but not, not from the expense of trying to bamboozle your, your subscriber base that helps you become who you are. You know, I just have, that's just one of my big pet peeves, man. I just have a huge problem with that. You know, and that's cool, you know, if you're asking for, you know, donations and stuff like that from the channel because you're trying to have the channel grow or there's equipment you want to buy to better your channel and things like that. Okay, that's totally understandable. But to sit here and try to teach somebody how to do YouTube and these are your subscribers who's been rocking with you the long way for a long while and try to, you know, dip them out another yeah. four five hundred dollars uh, I can't roll with that, man. So when I seen that, I, I quit messing with him personally. You know, I yeah, can't, and, I can't and, rock and with that. That's not and legit. If they're pulling in a hundred grand a year just from their channel alone. And no, then, no, no. They was claiming they was pulling a hundred thousand a month. Okay, um, yeah. a month, like from their channel, and and then and then they're still asking people for five hundred bucks. I mean, what? Why would you extra money? Like, it, like, like you said, it's greed. At that point, agree, and they just showing you that they really don't give a hell about their subscribers. Because no, why would you try you know, to hit them a lot like of, that? A lot of, a lot of, a lot of channels, they dragon just to giveaways every once in a while, and a lot of people do giveaways. And then you see these giant channels that don't ever do any giveaways, and they have the money. And I mean that problem. Well, I don't know if that would be considered greed, but I think that would just. You know, give back to the people that made you who you are. I mean, that that's the whole key to give back to the people who made you who you are. Anything above that is just pure unnecessary. Right. You know, I mean, I'm not saying buy everybody a car. You know, I mean, just do, oh, no, do no, something. I, do a little bit. Yeah, I ain't saying nothing like that neither. I mean, shit, it's not like he pulling open referee money. It's not like he a billionaire where he can say, hey, just look under your chair. It's going to be a brand new Jetta under there. You know what I'm saying? I ain't saying nothing like that. Right, but, yeah. but damn, I mean, at least, you know what I'm saying, stay focused on, you know, what you can do for your subscribers and not always what your subscribers can do for you. Yeah, I mean, a good example of somebody giving back is that um, guy, Charlie Chill, I believe that's his channel name. Um, yeah, and Grandpa Grandpa's kid, oldest yeah. boy. Yeah, he, he, I think he did a video yesterday, a few days ago, where he... You know, going to do a giveaway, giving out a hat, and he does birthday shout outs, just a little thing that like giving back to people. Yeah, just that made him who he is. Uh, he, I talked to Charlie Chill on uh, Twitter, in fact, and he, um, in one of his latest videos, he gave me a shout out to my channel. And yeah, I, had, I saw that. Yeah, man, and I thought that was pretty cool. You know, I, I wasn't even expecting that. You know, to and the funny thing about that is that that man was watching me for quite some time. He told me he'd been watching me for a while. He just never said anything or commented on any of my videos until I did the one about the movie It that was coming out. That's when he reached out to me and said something about my videos. And then all of a sudden he's giving me a shout out a week or so later. You know, I, I was blown away by that. And you know, and yeah. he's a big channel himself right now. He has over what, 80,000 subs right now? Yeah, so, I think he's like 85,000 subs. Yeah. And he, he's only been going at it, what, probably about six months? Exactly. Probably not even that long. All right. And you know, probably a lot of that fame, I know I'm friends with him on Facebook or used to be. I don't know if I still am. But a lot of that fame is from the Angry Grandpa show. And I mean, there's nothing wrong with, you know, piggybacking on somebody's fame to a certain point and, you know, kind of get your name out there and then go off on your own. 
Right. And that's what he's doing. Right, absolutely. And you know what, but he, he kind of done that, but he's building his own network. You know what I'm right. saying? Because he's not constantly using, you know, Pick a Boy's name to, you know what I'm saying, reach his goal or his fame, you know, because he's doing his own thing. You know, he's doing his um his vlogs, you know what I'm saying? He talked about him and his family and mainly some of his personal stories. So, in a sense, he kind of rolled off of Pick a Boy's back, but all in all, you know, he jumped off his back and started rocking in his way. And you, you got to give yeah. him credit for that. No, no, definitely give him mad props for, for doing that and, you know, for having the opportunity to... Um, have your own channel and get famous like he did. I mean, not super famous, but I mean, his own little circle. I think, that, I think that's a great, great thing to take advantage of. Oh, absolutely. Uh, why am I... Okay, quick question, because it seems like I'm not showing up on the camera for some reason. No. Um, uh, do you... Let's see. Hold on. Uh, let me click on that. Another do you... I see your picture. There's no. Are you on like? Is your camera turned on? Oh yeah, my camera's on right now. That's so weird uh, because I click on camera, and it's supposed to be a bit. I see my face, but I don't see yours. Yeah, I don't see your face no more right now. Okay, right now. Yeah. And all right, so I clicked on you, and I'm supposed to be able to see your face. Why? I don't know why. Um, yeah, I don't see anything. Um, I don't, I have no idea why your camera is on, if not on there. Oh man, I have no clue. I don't know either. This is my first time, you know, if you come back on here, you know, maybe talk to me again. Um, oh, maybe some, sometime, um, maybe got to get that figured out. I'm just trying to do what I can with what I got, you know? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I was and, just uh, wondering because I'm recording this myself right now, so I was just kind of wondering. Yeah. No, definitely. Um, and what also you can do, I believe, you can download the video just straight off of YouTube um, through like, like a website like YouTube and MP3 or MP4. And then you can upload that to your channel and album. Okay, now I'm not able uh, to see you again, so. Right, but once the stream is over, then you can you can do that, and um, you can be, you'll be able to monetize it because you're in the video, so. Okay, well, I wasn't um, really too much worried about that. Um... Cause I'm constantly, I'm kind of like two different sites going right now. So I can kind of see what the people in the chat talking about and, you know, trying to yeah. see you at the same time too. So. Yeah. There's a lot of people in the chat. I mean, that, that's, that's cool that there's people interacting. I think that's fantastic. Yeah, there's a few in there. And you know, those are some of my loyal ones, man. Uh, that were just, yeah. you know, on the site on the whim. Um, you know, some of <laughs> just came right away. I mean, you, you will hope, you know, from a, a situation like this, a lot more people come, but, you know, you have to be appreciative of the ones who do show up and, you know, just try to keep them entertained oh, yeah. and rock it hard for them. Yeah, anybody that ever watches my videos or go to my channel, you know, I'll, I'll treat everybody the same, whether I got a million people watching it or one person. Absolutely. You have to. Yeah. So, um... Oh no, um so what okay, do you follow McJugger Nuggets? Um, no. Um the only reason why I knew about him was because of, you know, the little ordeal with him and um kid behind the camera. Other than that, okay. I didn't even know he existed. Okay. Um Well he has a series going on right now, um, like the psycho series. He did one like a year ago and he ended it I guess and then he started it back up again. I don't know if you've been watching any of his videos. Um, no, I don't follow him at all. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, he it, he was kind of doing the same thing um, Angry Grandpa was doing, or is doing. I'm not really too sure. Um, but they had, he was kind of portraying his life as real. 
about four years, he was making it a series where his dad was insane, where he was breaking stuff, yelling at him. He was like a grown man, though. Um, but he was kind of playing off the same basis that it was real. Um, and people would just instantly flew to his channel and his video, all his videos went viral because people thought it was real. Wait a minute, all his and videos went viral? Most of them, most of it, most of the psycho videos that he has on his channel, they have over, I think two or three million views. I think that's considered that viral. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, he, uh, the most popular video, I believe has 50, 50 million views. And it's just him, just his dad running over his video game. <laughs> you know, it was like a lawnmower. And for people to believe that it's real, you know, you got to be pretty gullible. Yeah. And I think that that's what it comes down to with any any channel. You have to, if you're gullible enough, then, you know, that, that's on you. Okay. So, okay, so, so to sum up what you're saying, because, again, I really don't know much about his channel like that. So he's his channel is more like the Angry Grandpa channel. But everybody knows that it's pretty much fake. Right, yeah, everybody knows at this point that it's fake. Um, Wait a minute, but this is the same dude that tried to debunk their channel and said that kid behind the camera and grandpa was fake at some point. Yes. Wow, isn't that the the part that calls the kettle black? Right, you know, because the only reason he thought a grandpa was fake because he was fake. And he was fake and all that stuff and he thought angry grandpa was doing that but you watch like original angry grandpa videos that's not fake where you know michael's you know, filming inside their house you know raw footage where it's not edited or anything i guess that's that's real right you know where angry grandpa is beating on his wife i don't think that kind of thing should be on youtube but i mean that was a long time ago um, I've never really seen him get physical with his wife, though, so I must have missed a few episodes if he actually got physical with her. Yeah, I mean, where where either she was spitting on him or he was, you know, spitting on her or she was kicking him or he was kicking her back. I mean, it, it got ugly for a while right before they got divorced. Um, but, I mean, divorce has happened. Like, uh, I'm, not, but I'm not saying that, you know, people don't get physical, but... Now, how do you feel about uh, the new girlfriend? Oh, the one that looks like a troll? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I've seen a lot of comments from people saying she looks like a troll. So. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to quite put it like that, but okay, we'll roll with it. <laughs> well, I, I, I've never talked to her. I don't know her, you know, so I have just my own, my own view there. Um she, I don't, I don't know. She seems kind of, kind of weird. Like in the beginning, she didn't want to be filmed, and then she got used to it, and then now she doesn't really want to be on video anymore. So I kind of wonder what's going on with that, uh, with their relationship. Um, I've heard different people commenting or saying on Facebook that he beats her, or that you know he's taking advantage of her. But I, I don't think that he's that type of guy. But you never know. Yeah, I mean, you really never know behind uh, when the cameras turn off, man. But no, you don't. And what? there's a lot of stuff they don't film too. And but you know, they have like their own private life. And who am I to say what you do on your own time? Exactly. But one of the things I disagree, you know, besides the fact of how people feel that she might look or whatever, you know, we're gonna go beyond that for a second. But uh, the fact that every time you know she try to do something to show that she has his back. You know, he tend to want to throw in her face all the time, almost every episode, would we'll pack his shit and get out. <laughs> right. And you know know, that, that's, become, that's become like a signature thing he says. And you know, it's, it's pretty hilarious. Um, but then also on the other side, you know, it, that's not really cool, man. You know, like if she's doing you, doing you a solid and then you, and then you do and you say that and you can see it just tears her apart. Yeah, you see that. You see that right away, man. But, you know, like you said, that that almost became like his stick. You know what I'm saying? For right. the episode. Yeah, and I don't... Yeah, and I don't... I don't who am I to say what what goes on? Um, but you should definitely have a little bit more respect for, for your woman, you know? So... Well, you would think so, but... I mean, everybody's different, man. You know, if she like it, I love it. 
All right, and you know it's kind of the same thing with Michael and his girlfriend was her name Bridget. Um, she, um, you know, M- Michael treats her like shit, and she still sticks around. So, I mean, it it just depends on who you're with, I guess. I mean, I've had girlfriends that, you know, like to be treated like shit, and some of them, you know, don't. So, I I have to disagree with you on that, man. I don't think he necessarily treat her like shit. I think he actually treated her pretty fairly. Of course, from what I see on videos, like we said, we don't know what's going on behind when the camera's off. But I mean, I don't no. see no guy who treats his woman like shit buying her a brand new truck and all this shit. You know, you just don't right, see right. that, you know, in reality. You know what I'm saying? So right. Yeah, and, you know and, what I'm saying? And, and, he, and, you know, I mean, they mess around a lot. And maybe that misconstrued by me, you know, that he's kind of treating her like shit and yelling at her and fighting with her. You know, people have disagreements. Um, but... I I don't I don't know I'm not really I'm not really too sure about that one can't really speak too much on that if I don't really know. Yeah, I mean I, I've seen you know episodes where you know she pretty much called you know kid behind the camera a bitch and you know some everything and you know they still rocking together. I mean I guess that's just love for you. You know what I'm saying? So I don't see them really going nowhere. But I mean as far as you know what I'm saying Bridget, I mean I think they're a good couple. You know for each other. You know what I'm saying? Because love oh, is yeah, for I think, everybody. I think they're fantastic. Yeah, love is for everybody, man. I make, I just think they make a good couple, man, when it comes, you know what I'm saying, on camera and maybe even off camera. But at the end of the day, this is what I want to ask you. Out of that entire family, if you was able to sleep with one of them, who would you sleep with? Oh, God. Um, yeah, see, I'm going to put you on the burner right now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, man, feel free. Um <laughs> Out of out of all of them, I I don't really know. Um, out of all of those people, yeah, that's so hard for me. Um, but to be honest with you, I gotta say Bridget. Bridget. Now, why why would you it, pick Bridget? Even even though she is pretty big, I mean, I'm not saying she was like small, or I'm not saying she's housebound either. Um, but. I don't. I don't know. I mean, she. She just seems like she'd be fun to roll around with a little bit. I don't. I mean, I don't to really roll know. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it kind of. I. I don't know. I mean, it, it's either her or his sister Kim, but no, I don't. I don't really know about that. She seems like. You psycho, know what? So. I, I was kind of thinking he was going to say her at first. Yeah, I mean. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I definitely enjoy people that are a little bit bigger. Not definitely not twigs. So, oh, you know, hey, this is one of my old sins, man. I love pork on my fork. You know <laughs> exactly. What I'm saying? If I, I, like if I kiss you, my be- my lips better be greasy when I'm done. You hear me? Exactly. I, I I agree with you. I love a little pork on the fork, man. Only dog chase for bones, man. That's a good one. I, I like that. Yeah, you gotta have a little pork on the fork, man. I'm a meat eater. I'm a carnivore. <laughs> right. <laughs> but so, so out of all of them, who would you pick? Who would I pick? Yeah. And I'm I'm expecting everybody to laugh when I say this, man. But honestly, out of everybody on there, I would have to say Bridget's mom. I didn't think about that. I would say Bridget's mom, man. Bridget's I, mom. Yeah, I mean, yeah. she she seems like she'd be she'd be all right. Yeah, yeah. I think I would take her down like a line back on the thirty five. On the thirty-five yard line. <laughs> oh my god, dude, that's the best. <laughs> hey, I don't know, man. It, it, it's something about her, man. Maybe it's the blonde hair or something, or the thick thighs, or just the fact that she has some size about herself. I don't know what it is. I can't pinpoint it, but yeah, I would definitely take her down. Oh yeah, I mean, I mean, to be honest with you, anybody that's willing to give it up, I think I'm, I'm down as long as you're disease free and don't look like a dog. Oh well, shit! I ain't gonna say anybody now. That, that, that's, uh, I don't know about that one. Well, I mean, I, I mean, they're, they're obviously terms and conditions, but. Um, okay, you sound like YouTube right now. No, I mean, I don't. Uh, I don't know. I mean. There's a lot of like fan fiction out there and different like fake videos and pictures of people naked that are from YouTube. Let's say Bridget. I mean, they got a lot of videos and pictures of obviously fake um, people or 
whatever um you know type in her name and boom you get pictures pop up so i haven't seen any of those so i might have to look that up oh uh, yeah definitely use caution but um feel free now let me ask you this question all out right. of all the females that you know on youtube who you think you have the biggest crush on uh mm, immediately i'd say jenna martles never heard of her who is she uh, so she does like reaction videos. Uh, she, um, oh, she's really hot. Um, I just kind of wish she get a lot of her fame from. She does a lot of videos. With her boyfriend just kind of talking about different trends that are going on. Okay. On YouTube or Facebook, Twitter, whatever. Um, I mean, I mean, she's pretty hot. I don't really know if, I don't really know if I'd roll around with that, but I mean, that's, no, not, that's just who I got. I might, have, um, matter of fact, type her name in the chat so I can take a look at it. Cause I never even heard of her. All right. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh... <clears throat> How do you do this? There we go. All right. Also, guys, man, if y'all loving this um this live um live podcast right now, man, make sure y'all hitting the thumbs up on this. You know, I shouldn't, yeah, I shouldn't definitely have, give I shouldn't it a thumbs to, up. Yeah, I shouldn't have to even tell you guys. Y'all should already been on it. Yeah, uh, yeah. Who would you sleep with? Uh, who would I sleep with? Well, shit. Yeah, Miss Lady Miranda just asked that right now. <laughs> Well, Miranda, I definitely sleep with Miranda. She ain't got to worry about that. <laughs> but um, <laughs> YouTube wise, man, um, I think people already know, you know, from my channel. But it's um, Trisha Payton. Who's that? I've never uh, heard of that. Oh, she's a psycho bitch that has no sense whatsoever, but just sexy as fuck to me. Oh, okay, I'll definitely uh, check that out. Uh, let me see, Pay. I think I'm spelling her name right. <clears throat> so yeah, definitely check it out, man. Alright. Yeah, guys, am I spelling her name right? I might be spelling I her name I, wrong. I didn't yeah. just see it on. Oh, there we go. I don't know if it's Tisha or Trisha. I think it's Trisha Paytas. Have you ever heard of um uh, there was there was a YouTube person. She died um, a few months ago. I think she did um, cooking videos. Yeah, Auntie uh, Fee. Yeah, dude, I'd roll around with that. You wait a minute. You would have fucked Auntie Fee. Just because of who she was. Oh, dog, you was disgusting. You, you, you <laughs> She's a sick not man. that bad. You are a sick man. <laughs> Why? Because she was old. <laughs> Yeah, it, it, it wasn't really so much of the age, man. It was, I don't know, man. It was just something about her, her physically, man, that just didn't seem too appealing to me. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I would do it just for the fame. Just, just for the say, fame of just, just to say that like, I, you know, hooked up with Auntie Fee. Now, don't get me wrong, man. Auntie Fee was definitely hilarious. She would keep you entertained on all of her videos. She would make some good, unhealthy-ass meals that would give you a heart attack, which is what I think she passed away from anyway. But nonetheless, she was extremely funny, man. Extremely funny and entertaining. And I think she died way too soon. But um, kudos to you, though, brother, if you would take one for the team and, <laughs> <laughs> and be able to hit that because I can't see myself doing it personally. But, um, no, I mean, anything, it's some, I didn't, I didn't it's even a hard job, man, died. somebody got to do it. I didn't even hear about her until she died, and then I started watching her videos, and she, she was cool. Wait a minute, say it again. I, I never heard of Annie Fee until she died. Oh, really? Yeah. How many of her videos have you watched? Oh, God. Probably 20, 30 videos. Oh, well, yeah, you got a good idea of who she is then. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't really watch all the videos. I kind of just skim through them. Uh, yeah. But I, uh, I, I don't know. I mean, 
I mean, she's taking one for the team. And she definitely got a chance to meet um a lot of celebrities in her in her time of doing YouTube. Um, cause it seemed like her channel just blew up out of nowhere. You know, next me you know she's on uh, Steve Harvey show and she's talking with Chris yeah, think- Brown and with Dane Drops and you know all kind of big star celebrities, man. Oh yeah, I believe I thought she had some kind of deal with Food Network also, but I definitely could be wrong about that. Wait, wait a minute, say that again. I thought that she had a deal with Food Network um, where she was going to be on one of their shows. Uh, I'm not sure if she did or didn't. I don't remember her actually having a show on on that channel. Right, right. But I just like her being on like one of those Master Chef shows as like a judge. I feel like she did at one point. Oh, okay. Well, that's that's different for me. Um, I, I have to look into that. I didn't even know that it was even. In, in yeah, the I, don't, I don't know if she did or not, um, but I thought I heard something about that. Um, or that she was going to be on the show before she died. So, I mean, she had a lot of fame. It's kind of what I'm getting at. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, I mean, if, if you're putting it that way, and you're talking about from a fan standpoint, you know, just to catch a little bit of fame. Then I guess I gotta roll with you. Then you know what I'm saying. I'll be, yeah. I'll probably be the nigga who just watch. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> Let you take care of the business. That's that's almost like uh, what was her name? The 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 blonde heavy chick that passed away. That a lot of people said she was like a freak but crazy. And Nicole Smith. That that was just like you said. You wanted to have sex with Anna Nicole Smith. <laughs> I would definitely watch, but I don't think I'll participate. No, I, I, I think don't, I would I don't be. Know if I mess around with that. I, I um, think I would be the kid behind the camera at that point. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> so I'm just saying that's how I feel about it, man. But hey, to which is on though. You know what you like don't make me shit. So <laughs> you like yeah. what you like, man. But why? Wow, I would have never thought that you would have said anti fee. Yeah, de- definitely anti fee. Just just cause the fam. Oh, no, 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 see, I know what it is. Now, you want you some dark meat, don't you? That's what it I, is. I've only, I've only been with one one person like that, and I, I got to tell you, it was totally different. Um, yeah, so you got hooked on that dark meat, man. I'm not saying it was a good thing. I'm not saying it was a bad thing. Definitely not throwing that out there. Um, but um, I, I don't really know if I'd roll with that again. But Annie Fee, definitely an exception just because she was famous. Hmm. I, I don't know if you're being completely truthful right now. What? That, that I don't like the dark meat? Yeah. Okay, it no. goes back to that concept, once you go black, you you never go back. No, okay. that's definitely not true. I've definitely, I've definitely been with a lot more white people since that time. So, um... Oh, so yeah, you, I don't... you must have had some of that trash booty then. <laughs> it, it wasn't, uh... It wasn't really the best. It was different. No, it's just a... Yeah, see, you was with somebody that didn't know no better and didn't know what they was doing. If you was with one of them thoughts or one of them hood racks, oh man, look, you'd have been talk, you'd have been walking around with your jeans sagging. You'd have been <laughs> wearing baseball caps. You'd have had gold in your mouth. <laughs> you'd have had earrings in your ear. You'd have had your little uh, nip, you'd have had your little nipples pierced and everything. Yeah, that's definitely not me. Not the direction I'm trying to take my life. <laughs> No, I uh, I have a friend that she told me I should, uh, you know, wear a white tank top and sweatpants and a bandana to the mall in this ghetto ass area, um, and I'm like, I'm not doing that. You know what that remind me of? That kind of remind me of some um, Malibu Most Wanted. <laughs> I've never seen that. I've heard of it though. Oh man, rich kids, man, trying to act like they all hood out. Talking about they walk around. They be walking around with nines, but they actually walking around with nine iron golf clubs. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I definitely got definitely got to check that out. <laughs> man, it's funny, man. That's awesome. 